When working in cemeteries, it is hard to know what, or who, lies under the ground. Unlike other sites, excavations are generally unfeasible. Archaeologists need a way to see caskets, among other features, without disturbing the landscape of the cemetery. Ground penetrating radar, otherwise known as GPR, is a non-invasive way to look at what lies underneath the ground. The machine uses radar pulses to create either a 2 or 3D image of subsurface disturbances. The Florida Public Archaeology Network uses a three-wheeled model GPR with an onboard screen. The Northeast Regional Center took the machine into National, Huguenot, and Talamato cemeteries, as well as the parade grounds in front of the St. Francis Barracks and the Cathedral Basilica. The team used a 2D program to locate subsurface features. They marked the locations of the features and then mapped them out. Drop! Drop! At National Cemetery, the team had several research questions. The Dade Monument served as a big point of interest. The three pyramids were erected as a tomb for soldiers from the Second Seminole War. The team wanted to find if the monument consists of one massive crypt, or if each pyramid contained its own separate crypt. The team also investigated the Tuttle and Smith plots in hopes of finding evidence of grave shafts. The team also visited the parade grounds in front of the St. Francis Barracks to investigate the possibility of late 18th to early 19th century mission burials. At Talamato Cemetery, the main goal was locating any unmarked burials or sunken headstones. Historic photographs show the cemetery full of markers, yet many no longer stand today. The team hoped to match up subsurface hits with graves from the photos. While working with the folks at the Cathedral Basilica in order to gain access into Talamato Cemetery, the team was invited into the cathedral to try to pinpoint the location of the burials of two priests and the construction foreman who oversaw its renovation. At Huguenot Cemetery, the team looked for any signs of mass burials. They also investigated several specific graves, including Francis Smith and the Dunhams, as well as searched for foundations of a path found in historic photographs. The information we gained from the GPR was instant and exciting, but still required a lot of interpretation. We had to sort through the anomalies the machine found and decide which were features, and which were roots, pipes, or something else. Historic research, as well as blueprints and maps, help us match findings with possible features. While the knowledge the GPR gives isn't as exact as other methods like grave truthing, it does offer a rare glimpse into areas hard to dig, such as cemeteries.